Hi, I'm Katie Siskind. I'm a licensed marriage and family therapist in Connecticut and in Florida. You can book your free phone consultation to work with me and my team online at wisdomwithinct.com. That's wisdomwithinct.com. In this video, we're gonna talk all about couples therapy, relationship counseling, and how to build a healthy, intimate life. So the first thing is to talk about emotional intimacy. Um, that is a huge, huge factor in helping build trust and building security in your relationship. And if your partner doesn't feel safe, they're not going to want to open up their body to you um, and not going to want to kind of partake in a sexual experience. So sometimes if your partner is rejecting you sexually, it is because they do not feel safe. And you may perceive this in a defensive way and say, oh, my partner wants to control me or my partner doesn't like me or you might assume blame, like there's something wrong with you. But you really, really want to focus on just considering this idea of safety. And you can talk about this together as a couple too. You can say, you know, what do you need? Need right now to feel safe and this is going to be a theme we come back to in this entire video so what do you need right now to feel safe um, and then on the opposite oftentimes what I see when couples come into counseling they're coming into counseling too late the relationship is already in shambles um, they're on the brink of divorce and so marriage counseling starting it sooner than later is going to be so effective um, you know think about it in your math class and um, you know, you could start to get some help when you're at like a B, a C or a D, but like you're now waiting till you're at like an F minus, like every assignment's missing, like you know nothing what's going on. Like, so there's like, we can start the counseling and the skills sooner and better, which is better than waiting, you know, which is many couples wait far too long to get into therapy. So I just wanna put that out there. Um, but you may notice these in your relationship and these are great reasons to get in for therapy. So criticism, this is when you are uh, using a name to call your partner or you're blaming them or you're kind of like uh, putting them down or they're, you're like, you know, they're gonna start to feel like hurt by what you're saying. Um, so instead of like calling your partner a name, you can use an I feel statement. So I feel hurt. I feel disrespected. I feel unappreciated. I feel sad. I feel nervous, right? All of this, da, 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 when. So you're owning that emotion. You're taking ownership for your feeling and you're also considerate of their feelings um, instead of criticizing them. Another thing that you can do um, is if you notice um, defensiveness. So defensiveness is when we feel like this, this uh, shield has to come up or feeling under attack. Um, and this can happen, you know, in sexual experiences, but also just like in generally in life with couples. Um, and, and defensiveness is when you are kind of like saying, oh no, I didn't do that. Oh no, um, this is why I did this. There's a lot of explaining that couples will do to each other. That's like not helpful at all. Um, so it, it has the best intentions. Couples are like, well, this is my point. And then the other person's like, I really want to win you my point. My point's better. And the other person's like, no, well, well, here's why I was so right, right? So that is defensiveness and it is not helpful. The thing that you need to do in that moment is validate. So emotional validation is a great skill couples can learn and it's super fun and playful as we teach it. Um, and we also teach taking ownership and responsibility. So, you know, if you have a trauma history, it's not your fault by any means, but you can tell your partner, you know, I get really anxious because I have a trauma history and um, I just need a little bit more patience, right? And so that is a great ask and your marriage therapist can help your partner receive that and understand it and, and really take it in. Um, so taking responsibility can be a good thing. You know, say, like, this also comes down to apologizing, saying, you know, yeah, I did. I'm sorry I raised my voice or I'm sorry, you know, I called you that name or I'm sorry, you know, I walked away from you when you were talking to me. I can see how you'd feel hurt or I'm sorry that, you know, I wasn't even into it when, you know, we were kind of in an experience together sexually, you know, so whatever you're sorry for, just be able to say that. And like, I see the impact it has, you know, that's very important, that empathy, you know, uh, one last thing for couples is if you're noticing kind of, um, different differences in sex drives. So one person has a high sex drive saying like they have want sexual pleasure on a regular basis, maybe daily, maybe a couple times a week. The other person, when that person's initiating is maybe rejecting them or pulling away, you know? And so, um, I think that that is a great reason to come in for couples counseling. If you find differences in your sex drives and your libido and you know, a lot of times these are emotionally rooted issues. Yes, there can be physical issues for sure that go on as well. But a lot of these come down to feeling safe together and building trust. And if there's been a history of an affair, a betrayal, you know, hurt feelings, mistrust of any kind, lies, secret keeping, you know, and one partner has been 
keeping information private and the other partner found it out and that is very hurtful betraying um that can be really hard for couples and that those are reasons to come in for counseling to get on the same page to talk about what it means to be in a relationship together start to rebuild those walls of trust you know and start to use healthy communication because usually there's like before an affair takes place there's like five to eight years of trauma that has occurred for the couple you know whether that's infertility whether that's in-laws family trauma um, childhood trauma that's getting reactivated um, physical domestic violence sexual trauma um, there could be, you know, anger, you know, um, this emotional cycle, trauma bond, abuse. There could be, you know, both people lacking, you know, ownership emotionally of their part in things and conflicts never getting resolved and they just kind of snowball and pile up and couples struggle with jealousy. You know, jealousy is a big thing, you know, that can play into sexual performance. Um, anxiety about performance, feeling worried about the future, worried about too many responsibilities can impact your sexual performance and your sexual, you know, pleasure ability to receive. And so being able to increase, um, you know, or just kind of match each other's sex drives and being able to receive and give, you know, is something that you can bring to couples counseling. And you can talk about, you know, when you have a sexual experience, how does it go? What emotions come up for you? You know, are you feeling excited and happy and pleasantly surprised? Or are you feeling scared and, you know, frozen, you know, or is that trauma response coming up again? So being able to articulate that and we can help couples kind of share needs because oftentimes couples are not talking about what they need. Um, they're kind of silent in the bedroom and that lack, that lack of communication plays through into the bedroom. So um, anyway, if you enjoyed this video, you can like and subscribe. Um, I love supporting couples who are in distress, maybe fighting, there's blame, there's challenges with intimacy. Um, there might even need to be more playfulness in the communication as a whole um, and emotional validation to rebuild trust. I would love to help you do so. Um, if you feel like you're walking on eggshells at home, there are probably some emotional issues that need to be processed and talked about in a safe environment. Um, so we can meet in person or on telehealth. Um, I would love to help you build a healthy, safe, playful marriage um, and really kind of, you know, get to know each other again in a creative way. Um, so at Wisdom Within Counseling, we also incorporate holistic mind-body therapies, including art, breathing techniques, yoga, meditation, uh, painting for couples, um, and even outdoor walk and talk sessions, both in session and as homework. Um, that can really help couples get back into the present moment together and build some meaningful connection they've never had before. And that strength that, you know, maybe was never there. So you can book your free phone consultation for relationship counseling online at wisdomwithinct.com. That's wisdomwithinct.com. Or you can call or text us at 860-451-9364. That's 860-451-9364. I'm Katie Ziskind and I hope you have a great day.